I'm Troy Scott. I'm here today to demonstrate some of the timing closure features of Synopsys HAPS 80 series and Protocompiler. Prototype timing closure is best achieved with a good prototyping methodology and a mix of well-designed equipment and automation tools. Prototype designs for the HAPS 80 we typically see fall into three layouts with distinct performance points. At the top end of performance is a single FPGA where all clock domains reside in a common device. For example, the single FPGA HAPS 80 S26 system VU440 device can achieve up to 300 MHz. At the next performance point, an ASIC design that spans multiple FPGAs and retains a one-to-one -one signal to pin ratio can achieve up to 100 MHz. Careful partitioning helps ensure that signals with the most timing slack are assigned to the pin-to-pin -pin paths. The third case we see is a highly interconnected multi-FPGA design where thousands of signals are required to join the FPGAs. Time domain multiplexing, or TDM, is required to avoid pin overflow. So to ensure best performance, signal paths with the most slack are assigned to the TDM pins. High-end performance in this case is around 30 MHz in a HAPS 80. Protocompiler helps to achieve these top-end performance points with a mix of intelligent partition, system routing with TDM, and best-of-class logic synthesis. Good design for prototyping practices help you reach your timing target. Prototype developers that have good information about the ASIC design's clock speed, I.O. timing, and exceptions will ensure that the prototype is properly constrained. Likewise, I.O. planning of key interfaces and their proximity to related clock domains will produce a floor plan with good performance. So what are the factors that limit performance of a multi-FPGA prototype? The root cause is often the multi-hop paths that may cross multiple FPGAs coupled with cases of high multiplex ratios of pin sharing. Protocompiler employs multi-hop reduction optimization and various types of high-speed TDM circuits depending on the connection distance and the timing requirement. For local connections between FPGA modules, single-ended HSTDM provides best performance with minimal pins. For larger systems, regional connections will use differential TDM for high-speed signals. And for those paths with more timing slack, multi-gigabit I.O. transceivers are applied to join HAPS 80 systems. TDM circuit integration is fully automated by Protocompiler, and you can export models compatible with Synopsys verification tools like VCS and Zebu to confirm equivalence throughout the design flow. Static timing analysis reports produced by Protocompiler account for individual FPGA timing as well as the connections between them. The reports help you assess the quality of the partition and interconnect scheme so you can make refinements to system options or partition constraints to help close timing. Multi-hop path reports show the number and length of multi-hop paths and TDM reports display the method and ratio applied. This feedback helps you apply additional performance optimization or adjust the partition plan. The HAPS 80 series exhibits high reliability in these performance modes, in large part because of the hardware-software co-design of the TDM circuits. Protocompiler employs the characterization data of the HAPS equipment to help ensure predictable operation and the workstation interface to HAPS provides link training during bring up and monitors payload integrity during system execution. HAPS 80 and Protocompiler are the fastest, most reliable way for you to deploy a high performance ASIC and IP prototype. To learn more about partition and time enclosure best practices for HAPS, please visit the web link shown at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.